This is the second tutorial uh, on how to use PowerPoint. In the previous tutorial you, s you learned how to um, insert basic elements and format the slides. Now we're going to learn how to animate individual elements on a page. Again, this is the kind of thing where students go horribly wrong. They do too much. I would stress that students need to um, learn a little restraint or need to be encouraged to learn a little straight and perhaps restraint and perhaps it should be part of the marking criteria of their presentation that they actually apply some rules predefined by um, you the teacher. I would recommend that if you choose a particular animation for um, text that you stick with that all the time so it's the same animation and also choose an animation that's not going to be so visually irritating that it detracts from the content of the slide that you're trying to illustrate. So if we come and look at this here, if we click on um, our title here, we can select this text here and we want to animate it. So if you right click on it, you can see you've got an option down here called Custom Animation. We click on this and the um, layout bar disappears and now you can click on animations. We can add an effect and it's as simple as deciding that we want to make an entrance. Um, you can choose, um, let's choose dissolve in and it shows you how that's going to look. And you can see that it's got the number one, if you look over here very carefully, this will be the first element that appears on the page with a mouse click. So you want the title to appear first and the picture second. So now we can perhaps click on the cake and do the same thing. Right click, custom animation, add effect. Now we want to do something perhaps emphasis now. So again we can click on more effects. We could choose, I don't know, let's have a look, flash bulb. Click OK. And if you want to see what this looks like, you can play it. Yeah, that's not too um, onerous. We'll have that one. And again, we'll click on the cat, add effect, add emphasis. We'll do flash bulb again because we're going to, we've decided that pictures are going to arrive um, in the same animation way and you simply build up your slideshow by cl clicking on each of those elements and you can see on this page now that we've got uh, one, two, three elements that are going to animate and that's the order in which they're going to animate. If you wish to change the sequence you can just drag and drop these so if we want to make the cat come in before the, um, the cake you click on it and you simply drag it up and they swap over. There. So the cat they now swapped over. So the cat's now number two and the cake's now number three. Okay. And you can just keep building up your slideshow all the way through. Click on the next slide and we can edit these things as well. But what I want to show you is is I also one of the most more powerful things about PowerPoint is you can link to other resources on your network, other resources on your computer, and indeed other resources on the internet. So for example, if the content of this slide was to, wanted to show an external link, you can highlight the text and click on insert and click on hyperlink. Now this text box comes it up. You can actually look for um, an existing file or web page, a place in this document, a create a new document or an email address. So I'm, you just add wherever you want it to go and if it's within your network you can browse, you can click through here but I'm going to add a, a URL in here so I'm going to add the address to my blog OK. And now this internet link, poor choice of colours, is now a live link and what this enables you to do is it allows your students not just to create a linear slideshow but allows a slideshow to be more dynamic and moving off into different areas and maintain student um, and audience interest. So creating hyperlinks to other documents or other websites is a great um, tool to use. Right, now then. The next thing we need to do is how we're going to transition our slides from one slide to another. And we do this under slideshow. If we click on here in slideshow, you can click on slide transition. And this is basically how the slideshow, when it's finished, will move from one slide to another. And again, I would suggest that you um, keep it simple, keep it unobtrusive as possible, and um, choose one. But you can see it does an animation here. 
cover left and you can set the speed so you can come down to here and set a medium speed and you can just basically choose all the way through here lines horizontal whatever and then finally you can come down to here and again consistency click to apply to all slides and now I've got a um, transition applied to all slides and our slideshow is almost ready to go two things lastly I want to show you if you want to run this slideshow as a presentation such that you are in control of it you just simply file save as a PowerPoint presentation down here and you get you get it saved as a PPT file and that means that you control when the next um, element in the page comes up and you click um, the mouse and the presentation moves on which allows you to time the presenter time to um, ask have, have questions asked of them etc etc however if you want this to run automatically like those ones you get in emails um, or you want to run it as a show that can be seen in the classroom without having to be attended to you can click on the drop down box here and you can save it as a PowerPoint show and it saves it as a completely different file structure and that will run automatically and, um, and will cycle through so those are two different ways that you can save PowerPoint show is, will run automatically without any human intervention and the um, .ppt file needs to be run as a, as a stand-up kind of lectern kind of presentation. Finally, if you are doing a presentation, your student is doing a presentation um, and you wish to take notes on it, then you can set this up, you can file, you can go to print and you can cut print what print the slides as handouts okay if you select if you select handouts that means you can sit there six slides per page or you can select it as notes pages and that means that you can put notes on either side um, and that way your students can um, let's do a bit back to four there we go if you make it four you can see in here notes can be made to the side and um, a record can be kept of the slideshow. And that, close this, is the basic introduction on how to use Microsoft PowerPoint.